Hey guys, Mr. Decker here. We are back in App Lab, Unit 4, Lesson 16, Events in App Lab. So in the last lesson, we learned how to get our homepage built for our smartphone app that we're making, the Recycling Finder. Now we're going to learn how to get some events to work. So adding a new screen. To complete your app, you're going to need more than just a home screen. Each card that you created in your paper prototype is represented by a screen in App Lab. To create more screens, just click the drop down at the top of the app display and select new screen. So obviously, right, we skipped a lot of this unit. We're just learning how to make events happen. You never did a paper prototype. Don't worry about that part. It's okay, right? Just do what we're doing with this. So it says, do this, create a new screen and give it the ID about. So we're gonna say, we're gonna click up here, new screen. And for the screen ID down here in the properties, we're naming this about, it's the about screen. All right, we're going to run Finish, continue. On to bubble two. Design about the screen or design the about screen. So to add elements to your new about screen, you'll need to first select it from the screen's drop down. So let's do that. So you click here, find your about screen. Now we're looking at it and it's just blank because we haven't added anything to it yet. To add elements to your new about screen, right, we did that part, do this. Complete the about screen using the prototype to the right. Use the screen's drop down to switch between home and about. All right, so we need to use this example over here on the right. So it looks like it needs a title, an about text, and about home button, okay? So we're gonna add our title. So let's throw that up here with the label. We'll make this text box a little bit bigger. Try to center it as best you can. And then what do we name that? About underscore title. And then the text is going to say recycling finder. We need to make that text a lot bigger. Font size. What size did we make it on the home screen? So that we're consistent, 30. Okay, we'll go back to the about screen. We want this to be font size of 30. And then we will Center it again once we've got it up here. Let's see. Text alignment centered. There we go. All right. And then the next one we need to add. We need to add this about text block here. So we need. Hmm. Probably, I guess, just use the ABC label. We need to make this text box a lot bigger so it fits all of it. And then this says, we are a group of students who want to make it easier. So in the text box, oh, first, let's label it. About, about underscore text. All right, and then let's tell it what to say. Let's look at that again. We are a group of students who want to make it easier. For people in our community to recycle more. And I'm gonna click in here and go back out. 
for people who want to recycle more. This text a little bit bigger. So font size. Oh, for people in our community who, okay, so make it easier for people in our community to recycle more. I typed that out incorrectly. But where is it typing? Oh my goodness. Okay, so recycle for people in our community. There we go. Kind of annoying because it doesn't give you much room to type this stuff out in that little box. We are a group of students who want to make it easier for people in our community to recycle more. Okay. So over hitting my arrow key to move it all the way over more period and then we'll make this a little bit skinnier move this up good enough for me all right and then the last thing is to add this about home button. Make this big. Center that. About home Oop. button. There we go. The text is going to say back home. All right, that's it for that. Run, finish, continue. Level three. In addition to adding new blank screens, you can import screens from import screen. To import a screen from someone else, you'll need to give them, first give them, you, bleh, 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 bleh. you'll need them to give you the sharing URL. Note, screens you import must not share any IDs with elements already in your app. Do this. Another, another student has created a search results screen that you can import into your app. Their app share link is this. Select import screen from the screens dropdown. Copy and paste the above URL into the import screens dialog. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this. Control C. We're going to import screen. And then we're going to control V that link next. Here's the search screen import. Okay. So we've got all these elements here, search title, search description, search map, search home button. Okay. looks like they've already gone through the trouble of labeling everything and getting it into the right spot. So thanks partner. All right, select the screen you wish to import. Click import. Use the screens drop down to switch between home, about, and search screens. About, home, search. Okay, cool. Run, finish, next bubble. Bubble four. Yet another student has created a contact screen that you can import into your app. Their share link is this. So let's go ahead and add that one. So we'll highlight it, control C, import screen, control V, next. There's our contact screen, import. All right, here's the contact screen. Use the screens drop down to make sure we get it all about. Contact home search, yep. Run, finish, continue. Bubble five. With our screens in place, it's time to start actually programming the app so that it responds to button clicks. For each button on each screen, you'll want to add an on event block that watches for that button to be clicked and responds appropriately. To start off with, we'll just watch the home search button and print something to the console when it's clicked. Okay. 
do this. You're now in code mode. You can use the buttons above your app to switch between code mode and design mode. This is where you can write all the code that will respond to users interacting with your app. So we're going to go to the, uh, okay, we're in code mode already. All right. So you can switch back and forth like this on the top left, right above your uh, smartphone app there. Okay, so we need to drag this on event block out here. Okay, and then select home search button from the ID drop down. Home search button, there we go. And then drag out a console log block from the variables drawer. So we go to the variables drawer by clicking on variables there, console log. We want it to say search clicked apparently. Okay. And then run your app and click the search button and look for messages in the console. Okay, so run, search, and then you can see the search clicked shows up in the debug console. Well, that worked. All right. Finish, continue. And then let's see changing screens on a click. So the set screen block will change your app to whichever screen you specify. If you place a set screen block inside an on event block, you can pr program your buttons to change to the correct screen. Okay, do this. Using the on event block that you've created, make your program change to the search screen. Okay, so we grab this block, throw it in, Set screen to search. All right. Select search from this drop down. We did that. Run your app and test the search button. So we'll run it, search, and it goes to the search screen. Perfect. All right. Let's go to bubble seven. Last bubble. Now that you've made one button work, just follow the same pattern for all of your others. Do this. For each button, create an event that links to the appropriate screen when the button is pressed. Run your app and test that all of the buttons work. All right. So we need an on event block. We're going to use the about button. Let's see, what is this ID? Home about. So we need to find the home about button. There it is. Then we're gonna set screen to home. Wait, no, about, the about page. Yeah, gotta go to the about page. All right, and then we need this contact button to go to the contact page. So on event, let's find the Home contact button. I may have skipped it. Home contact button. Set screen. Whoop. Set screen to contact page. All right, so let's test those. So search works. Back home doesn't work yet. Run about goes to the about page. That back home button doesn't work yet. Run contact goes to the contact page. Okay, reset. All right, so we have some more events we need to add here. So let's go to the About screen first. We need this Back Home button to work on event. We're going to use the About Home button. Set screen to Home. Let's make sure that works. So we go about, back home. OK, so so far that's working. So reset. Let's go to the contact page. That's back home on contact. So contact back home button. Let's 
set screen to home. Let's make sure that's working. Contact back home, about back home. Okay, so now the search back home needs to work. All right. That is called search home button. So on event. Search home button takes us to home. So let's make sure that's working. So search, back home, about, back home, contact, back home. We can check all these boxes, looks like. If I type in here and say Murphy and C, search. <laughs> You're in search. You search for paper recycling near Seattle, Washington. So clearly we haven't learned everything there is to learn here, but we've done everything it's asked us to do. So we know in order to interact with our app, we've got to use this Java, these JavaScript blocks for on event and then make it do something, right? Go, set screen to make it go somewhere and what have you. Um, and then we use this variable for the console log. So finish, continue when you're done, and that's it for this lesson. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Pretty short and sweet.